Hi folks, this video is going to be pretty quick. We're just going to strictly talk about how to find the degree of a polynomial. If you want to know more about a polynomial, make sure you check the other videos I've already made on what is a polynomial and all of that stuff where I explain this word monomial, etc. Okay, so the degree of a monomial, which we know is a single term like we see here and also here, it's the sum of the exponents over its variables. What that means is you look at the exponents so of the variable, so x to the power of 3, x cubed as some people say, and there's no other variables, so the degree of this one would just be 3, okay? If you look at this one here, this is a monomial still. The reason why it's a monomial, there's no plus or minus signs with another term, it's just a single term here. But look at all of these exponents. All you have to do to get the degree is add these up. And be careful, this c does have an exponent, it's just invisible. It would be an invisible 1. So just add them up. 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. That degree of this monomial is 6. Let's go to this one, 3xy. Well, there's one invisible one there and one there, so the degree would be 2. And this one doesn't have any variable at all. So this is a question that actually I'm unsure of, and I should really quickly check. So yes, um, whenever you have a constant term, our intuition is right. We would say that this has a degree of 0 because, well, let's pretend there was an x here and if it did have an exponent of 0, if you took any number, anything here, and if you put it to the exponent of 0, it would just become 1 here and negative 7 times 1 is still negative 7. So in other words, if you see just a, a regular old number like this, in this case it's an integer, it's negative 7, the degree is 0. I haven't often been, a, I haven't often been uh, challenged by that because most people don't ask you what that is, but just in case your teacher decides to throw in a trick, now you know. The degree is 0 of a constant. Okay. Now, what is the, we know the degree of a monomial. What about the degree of a polynomial when there's, you know, beyond just a monomial? So it's the greatest sum of the exponents over the variables in any one term. Now that is confusing. Let's just do it and it will make more sense. Find the degree of the following. The degree of this polynomial is, well, this monomial right here, if I just focus here, has a degree of 2. This one has a degree of 3. This one has a degree of 1. So you take the 1, you take the term, which is this term right here, that has the greatest sum of the exponents. So you just say this one has a degree of 3. You just pick the one that has the biggest exponents. Okay? So let's look at the next one. This here, this chunk or this term, it has 6 plus 1 is 7, 2 plus 3 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10. Which is the biggest number you see here? Well, this one right here. This is the winner. So, whoops. So what's the degree of the polynomial? It's not 12. It is 10. You just take that right here and you say that's the degree. It's the biggest of all the the terms. Okay, it's getting easy, right? These two, they're 5. These two are also 5. And this one here, x has an, a 1 there, and this that makes 6. So this is the winner right here. The degree of this polynomial is 6. By the way, if they had all been 5, then you could have just said the degree is 5. Okay, if they're all tied, you just say it's 5 because that doesn't seem to have come up yet in this video. Um, let's classify these polynomials and state their degree. Okay, so a quick recap. If you see two terms, that is called a binomial, just like a bicycle has two, tire, two tires. And it's a binomial, and the degree, well, it's one there and one there, so it's one overall. The degree is one. I don't know if, I, I probably should have said the degree is 1, but in this case I'm just going to write the number 1 there, okay people? This is a monomial here, there's no plus or minus signs, it's just one term.
that's a monomial. And the degree is 2 plus 6 is 8. That is the degree. We're done that one. And lastly, we have one, two, three terms. That is called a trinomial. Whoops. Sorry for my spelling, people. And there's a degree of one there. I'm sorry, there's two here, three. So the biggest one is this one right here, x to the exponent 3, x cubed. So the degree of this thing is also 3. It's the biggest degree, the biggest exponent of all these. Now, <laughs> here we can confidently say now that the, well, first of all, I'll tell you it is a monomial. A single, a single number can be called a monomial, although it's pretty unusual to call it that. We usually just say it's negative 12. It's an integer. Um, the degree is 0, as we talked about on the other page. And your teacher may want you to know that. So now we know the degree is 0 of negative 12. And that is the end. Again, if you want to see some other videos on this topic, I do have some other ones that will explain things a little in a little more detail. Maybe start with what is a polynomial if you're totally confused. All right? Have a great day, and good luck out there. Stay safe.